welcome to my channel IITJ Olympiad and AP Physics with Ambarish and in this video I have brought another exciting challenge for all of you and the title of the challenge is the drag force detectives. So here's the challenge. As a military engineer you are interested in evaluating the drag coefficients on various projectiles. You fire a projectile of unit mass from level ground with a speed u at an angle theta with horizontal and found that it lands with a speed v at an angle phi with the horizontal. Find the drag coefficient k if you know that drag force on the projectile at any instant is fd is equal to minus kv where v is the instantaneous velocity. Also find the total time of flight. So we have launched a projectile from here and it's landing here and the problem stated statement is uh, very straightforward. U and V vectors are known and we have to find the time of flight and the drag coefficient. So if you like you may try this problem for 5 to 10 minutes and then you can get back to the solution right after this. Alright so let's get to the solution. So uh, let's look in terms of uh, impulse and momentum. If we consider the ball at any location so what's the drag force on this you know that it is minus k times v vector and we, uh, when there's a vector equation we can always write the component equation so what's the drag force in the y direction we can say that that is minus k into v y vector okay so v y vector is the y component of the velocity vector okay and of course there's mg acting in the uh, vertical direction so mg vector minus k times v y vector that is the uh, force in the y direction on this uh, projectile at any instant okay this is fy now uh, we can integrate this so what do we get you look here uh, mg is a constant force and let's say total time of flight is capital T so the integral of mg is going to be very simple from 0 to capital T because it's just a constant force so constant force times capital T now what about the integral of vy k times vy k is a constant and integral of vy dt you know that vy is nothing but rate of change of displacement in the y direction and since the projectile is from ground to ground so you know that integral of vy dt is going to be zero so here we have written the impulse momentum theorem so integral zero to t mg minus k vy dt and this should be equal to change in the y momentum so final y momentum final velocity is vy vector let us say in the y direction initial velocity vector in the y direction is uy vector okay so now we just need to uh, just simplify it a little bit so what do we get so you know that in the y direction the net displacement is zero so integral kvy dt becomes k into total displacement in y direction which is zero and this becomes simply mg times t so i am taking y in let's say downward direction so then final y velocity vy can be written as v sin phi downward is uh, positive and initial y velocity can be written as minus u sin theta so vy sin phi minus minus uh, u sin theta that becomes uh, v sin phi plus u sin theta and of course there's an m which cancels off on both the both sides and so we have the answer of one part of our question where the time of flight was asked so we have the time of flight as capital T is equal to V sin phi plus U sin theta upon G. So that was one part of the question. Now we also need to find out the drag coefficient. So let's see how we can find the drag coefficient. Now you know that uh, once again we know that uh, the drag force is proportional to velocity and opposite to the velocity vector. So we might as well write the uh, acceleration equation in the x direction. So in x direction the co component of drag force is going to be minus k times vx. Okay, Just the x component of the drag force. So dvx by dt is minus k times vx. Now this is a simple differential equation and you naturally want to integrate this. Okay, So uh, this is what you get. You separate the variables. This is you get the integral and this then you just plug in the values you know that initial value of the x velocity is u cos theta and the final value of x velocity is v cos phi and right hand side of course this simplifies to minus k times capital T so you just need to uh, solve the integration on both sides and simply uh, take k on one side and all the terms on the other side and there you have the solution to the drag coefficient so what do you get drag coefficient as k is g upon v sin phi plus u sin theta and natural log of u cos theta upon v cos phi. So that was our solution to this uh, problem drag force detectives 
and if i hope all of you did like this video and if you did like this video uh, my request and invitation to all of you to please subscribe to my channel if you have not already subscribed and please do share it with uh, if you're a student you can share it with your peers and if you're a teacher you can share it with your students anybody who can benefit who's preparing for olympiads or maybe iitj advanced whoever you think might benefit from videos please do share my video with them and do give it a thumbs up that's all for this video see you in the next one thank you